I need a YouTube channel just for Dono TTS. I do. It's an Ambonus channel. All right. So here we go. Max packs top right. Clem bottom left. It's going to be a best of five. Uh, I didn't actually check the results. I should have before we started, but I saw someone say that uh, Max Pax won the EU Cup over Clem earlier today, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, you know, obviously these two have a bit of a rivalry as far as the cups go. We'll see if uh, Clem is able to take that here tonight. All right. Uh, I'm going to let my uh, my voice rest for a moment here. We'll wait and see what these guys want to go for. Clem, no GG, all games lol. I tell you what, Clem is if Clem has stopped GGing people, he's really reaching the next level of Terran. It's a that's a well known fact about Terran players. You're not supposed to GG as Terran. It's almost ironic if you GG. Because the race is so much harder to play. <clears throat> All right, Reaper coming up. Max Pack's just gonna turn around here. Check out the uh, timing of the command center, if the command center is going to go down. Block it a little bit, maybe. Is going to want to get out, though. He knows the timing of that Reaper coming. You don't want to give up this probe for free. Does cause him a little bit of loss of mind time. Sees the command center. He knows exactly what build he's up against. Well, at least for this early portion, yeah. So we have the factory coming up here for Clem. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, sits there. Looks at that box for a moment. No, oh, sorry. We don't have microtransactions here anymore. We'll uh, go after these probes. Ooh, almost gets one. Adept will push him out. <laughs> I know. I'm the best. Looks at that box for a moment. All right. <clears throat> Continuing to try to harass. Oh, my God. Oh. Max packs across the other side with an Adept, trying to prevent a little bit of mining time as well while he blocks this uh, Reaper basically perfectly. <laughs> the bait dude they're so good they're so good so on top of things now we have the robo coming up two gates and blink uh i don't ever see max packs go two gate blink robo that would be interesting if he goes for that that's like uh, Trigger's main build. Trigger, definitely one of my favorite players to cast in these leagues. And he does. He goes He goes for it. I love it. So, uh, yeah, two gate is the quickest third, really. Uh, it, it's just, you know, that's, that's how it goes. Three gate is a little bit more presence on the map. Four gate is an attack, and two gate is an expand. I've seen people go one gate, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty light. That's pretty light. Clem here, he does get that scout immediately. Sends out the single Widow Mine in the medevac. Observer going to be popping out here as well. Liberator and Seed Shank on the way. The Liberator is kind of interesting here from Clem, isn't it? Is he going to try multi-prong or is he going to try some sort of push? Like, Liberator Tank can support each other very, very well overall. So it could be that, but I think he's going to send it out for multitasking. Or maybe try to get some harass, right? You could save the mine that you have in your medevac for that. You could, you could send in the Liberator while you're doing like a push or a fake push at that point. Forge gets started. Ooh, 
Nice catch. And the Liberator actually is coming with the army now. So it looks like he's utilizing that probably for some support. Lifts up that tank. Going to drop it out for a little bit of damage there on those, those uh, Stalkers. Stalkers microing back. It's kind of a scary push coming up, but Max Pax's micro really, really on point. He's whittling this down so much. Gets the mine. Oh, dude, that was that was super ultra decisive for Max Pax. That was like perfect decision making, in my opinion. I think that was exactly, exactly correct. If you let critical mass gather outside this third base, you might lose the game. And he doesn't let it happen. He whittles things down, blinks forward at exactly the right moment, gets the snipe. Look at this. Extra gates on the way, charge on the way. Dude, I have some chills right now. Max Pax playing like a man on fire. Dude, catches the Liberator. Perfect rotation over there. Really, really, really well done. Okay, so where are we at? Honestly, yeah, Max Pax coming across makes perfect sense. He's got an Immortal mixed in there as well. Should just blink back as soon as he sees this. What? What? <laughs> okay. Takes quite a bit of damage here to kill a Marauder, but backs up eventually. Wanted to get the value out of that blink, I guess. But he has a bunch of gates that just finished. He has a fourth Nexus coming up. He has charge. Uh, just about finished. Plus one still on the way here. And you know what? If he just kind of uh, keeps his stalkers in a somewhat forward position here, like pokes the edges, checks what's going on, masses up, I feel like he's going to be in a very good spot. That is an interesting dark shrine as well. You normally don't see it quite this early. All right, picks off a medevac while blinking back. Little marine drop here at the natural. Getting some probes. Some stalkers come up to clear it out. There's a drop into the main base as well. Another warp in there. Clem forcing those warp ins all over the place. In the meantime, we have a double zealot drop at this third base. Two into the main. Maybe a warp in there as well from Max Pax. Clem coming up. He's going to punish his fourth base. Ugh, that is too big an army for Max Pax to deal with. Loses his sentry as well. Kind of a crucial unit to be losing right there. You definitely want that Guardian Shield. That was a high-energy sentry as well. Singles out on the other side. Maybe to just drag those mines later. Little group of Zealots being split off towards that third base location. Wants to continue harassing. Yeah, charging in on top of everything here. Look at this. After killing off that fourth... Just sieging into the gnat. That's interesting. Gonna get rid of the gases, it looks like. But is he overstaying his welcome? Yeah, blinks forward. Doesn't take that mine hit. Does he actually have enough here? Yeah. Blows up the tank. Starts to kill everything else. Some good micro, though. Clem picking off the injured stalkers as he can. Couple DTs gonna try to run in. A turret there. Going to be caught by that double marauder with concussive shells. Yeah, it looks like all the DTs get cleaned up very, very quickly. 60, look at the supply. 63 workers each, right around 60 army supply each, both on three bases. Now, that sounds super even. And, well, I mean, it is even when you're just looking at numbers. But generally speaking, I feel like this is, the army of Max Packs is not super hot, right? This is not a Zoolander army. It's... He's sitting here with Stalker Zealot for the most part, right? Yeah, he's got like a, some Colossi tech. He is adding a second Robo. So he's working to fix it up some, but it feels like more cost efficiency can be had out of what Clem has here. So I do like uh, where Clem has kind of gotten himself to. DT Blink. I'm excited to see that. Always a fan. Triple Widow Mine drop. Getting ready to come in. Coming in at a pretty good time here, but it looks like Max Pack sees it. Nice catch. Woo! <laughs> well, that's annoying. 
He is warping in a cannon here. That won't kill those before they blow up again. So that, that could be a little bit of an issue. Uh, definitely going to need to pull those probes once again. Trying to chrono boost out that observer. Yeah, going to come down here. There you go. That's what you need. Get the vision from the cannon. The cannon, though, doesn't clear the mines quickly enough. And there you go. Gets them just in the nick of time. Really well done cleaning. Has his Colossi up at the front. Max Pax is taking a bit of a supply advantage here. Ooh, oh, good split, good split. I was a little bit worried about that mine hitting the whole clump of zealots there. You don't want to be taking whole damage on that many. It's gonna really impact you in the big fight. Couple disruptors on the way. 3-2 getting started. Clem does have 2-2 two -two started. Look at that. Units lost. Just about tied. These two very well matched against each other as we get to see many weeks. Let's blink forward, getting rid of some of these mines. Quite a few Vikings mixed in at this point. Definitely wants to make sure he's reducing that Colossi count immediately. Zealots coming down to join. See this army not really ready to fight without the Zealots. Oh god, Clem trying to get on top of it before the Zealots are there. Here come the Zealots though, and as those Zealots come in, Clem has to back up. Absolutely cannot take that fight. Turns back around, picks off some key units here. Disruptor falling, the Immortal very low. Mm. Good attack here from Max Pax. Look at this damage he's putting on, just utilizing these uh, disruptors as zoning tools. And when the Vikings land, finally does get a hit off there. Zealots charge through the mineral line at this Bioforce, but do get whittled down. EMP falls, just stalkers remaining. Disruptors starting to recharge these shots a little bit at least. Clem going forward, trying to get picks on him. Picks off two of the disruptors, another one just barely living through it. 3-2, almost done here. Fifth base, four max packs. Trying to get ahead on those expansions. <laughs> the floor was lava there for a moment. See that ghost holding his breath, sucking his stomach in as that disruptor shot came, Clem knowing exactly the range. What a wild first game we have here. Clem starting to try to chase this army all the way back. The Disruptor's keeping him alive. A huge round of Zealots coming up. Blinks to the side so the Zealots can get through, but Clem is already on their retreat, so he doesn't get the charges off that he wants. Disruptor shots and Zealots falling short here against Clem. Oh, God. Yeah, that, he, he knew, he, he went in and then started to turn around knowing that wasn't gonna work out. Okay, that was a weird disruptor shot. I wonder if something like that is intentional. Bring it to the side so it comes in suddenly and blows up quicker than you assume? I don't know, I don't think so, but interesting idea. Nice blink to the side there, trying to pick off some of these flying units, putting some damage out. Ooh, one ghost getting caught. Just a constant battle of wills here. A tug of war. GG is called. And Max Pax going to take down Clem in game one. All right. All right, let's... Tunga 111 cheered. X300 arty. When you cast StarCraft 2, you sound content and happy. Your blood pressure doesn't seem elevated and you appear fulfilled with life. Why do you do this to yourself? Think of how many games of Nexus First Cross Spawn you could have played while being showered by mind-shattering amounts of degeneracy, foulness, and emoji spam mm. while an arbiter gets into your main with 1 HP after your 7th turret didn't make. 
Comfort is the enemy of progress. <laughs> yeah. Cool machine. That's why I only do it once a week. X300. I was in a PC bang on Korea 10 years ago. I was trying to get better and practice on Korean BW ladder. But he came over, kicked my chair over, and did a double proxy gate versus T and one. He flamed the poor Terran noob the whole time. After he left, he said, You're trash. Stop playing Brood War. I looked up at him from the ground and said, Artie, why would you do this? I'm going to post this on Team Liquid. He said, Get wrecked. No one will ever believe it. <laughs> it sounds you. exactly like me, actually. Thank you, Xkuma. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Game number two. So we have max packs in the top right, leading one to zero. And in the bottom left, we'll have Clem. It's Ride Who Set Station, so this game is going to be long and insane. Uh, Ride Who Set normally gets vetoed. Looks like not today. Mapu suggests maybe they want to get some training done because they're, you know, of Katowice coming up. Uh, and people have mostly been vetoing this map because it just gives you, this map gives you games that are like, you're always maxed out. It's just, it's so far and the bases are so easy to take. Uh, so yeah, I expect a long one here. Uh, since we're at the very, very beginning of the game, I'm just going to run up and pee because I honestly think that it's very likely this will be a 30 minute game. So I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that. Here we go. I know, nice and quiet, isn't it? Okay, so uh, we have Max Packs actually trying to cheese here. So maybe we won't have a super long game. Has a proxy gate. Uh, going for a three gate aggression. We did see this earlier from Creator. Uh, and he wasn't quite able to take down Clem with it. Clem did end up holding pretty darn well. And in fact, Reactor Cyclone, so. Ooh, the blocking of this landing is actually... I mean, that's going to buy some time where the, the Cyclones aren't in production. So, I mean, that does buy some time. He loses a, an Adept, so I don't know if it was worth the Adept, but at least the Adept had some use there. Now, two more Cyclones being made. Stalker's being warped in. Yeah, pulls that one back. Ooh, that's very low, that Cyclone. Ooh... Yeah, he's going to be able to pick that off. SCV's not able to out-repair the four units here for, for Max Pax. Max Pax trying to get this damage on. Another depth comes up. Ooh. 
But three more stalkers come up. Look at that. He's going to pick it. Oh, he like this is exactly what Creator was trying to pull off against Clem. Max Pax looks like he's going to make it work, though. He is picking off just about everything. SCV's fighting against stalkers now. You are going to get a couple more Cyclones, and maybe you can just hold if you just stay near the ramp. But what kind of life would that be? GG, Max Pax. I'm glad I got back before that ended. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Well, Rad Who Set does give us 30 minute games, like <laughs> pretty regularly. But right now, uh, Max Pax leads two to zero. We might just, it might just end. Who knows? He might just cheese again or something. Could happen. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the stream. Please make sure you follow my channel. We cast this every week. Very fun cup here. Little preview of I am Katowice. Please make sure you use uh, the command StarCraft 2. Follow that YouTube channel for all of your RTS casting needs. And here we go. It's going to be game number three of this best of five between Max Pax and Clem. Max Pax leads two to zero. I don't expect him to close it out here. Always feels like Clem is able to take, take the series back. And here we go. Max Pax in the top left. Clem in the bottom right. We're on Oceanborn for game number three. All right. And here we go. That's yeah, excellent to hear a guy in the chat. So. Hmm. I wonder if Max Pax will continue to play these aggressive cheesy builds. We have a double gas from Clem, so he's definitely ready if Max Pax wants to do something crazy aggressive. Right? Uh, he's going to have a factory opener here at minimum. Who knows at maximum what it could be. Max Pack's actually scouting for a proxy around his base right now. All right, we have a Reaper being started here. Certainly, uh, the factory will be coming up. There's a lot of gas he is mining right now. Finishes that wall, so the... Uh, Probe can't really scout anything. And Max Pax, of course, has already started his Nexus as well as that Cyber Core. So, uh, you know, I think looking at this, he knows something's up. It's probably a factory. I mean, it could be a command center in the main base. That can be a kind of a tricky mind game. But generally, I think you're looking at this and thinking fact. Reactor on the way, as well as that factory. And there's the command center, again, in the main base here for safety. And up trying to push this back. Twilight on the way here for Max Pax. It looks like he's not really doing anything out of the ordinary here. Pretty normal stuff. Stalker getting started. Going out to scout here some with the Adept. We do have a starter port coming up for Clem. 
as well as a mine and some marines. So definitely going to have a little bit of a harassment drop coming up. We'll see if it's just widow mine based or he wants to go widow mine and marine. <laughs> nice dodge. Nice. Very well done by Clem. I think Max Pax just realized he missed it. <laughs> Reaper is home free. And you know what? He sees the stalker. He sees the robo. He sees the gateway. He has a very good idea of what's going on now. Medivac on the way. This is going to be, I think, the... Uh, oh, another gate. Okay, so we're on three gate robo here. Four gate robo. Okay, so he is going to get aggressive. Max Pax is going to keep that attacking going. Or gate uh, that does give you the unit set that you need to actually put aggression onto your opponent. And honestly, like if this if this were a more aggressive build from Clem, which it might end up turning into, uh, you're just going to be able to produce some more units with those extra gates. Raven on the way here for Clem, and here we go. Going to boost in with his drop. One mine, two mine. Ooh, that was a good pull out. And only loses two workers. Shades in in this time, so he gets like a reasonable scout. Not going to get any damage with that, really. Marine's going to chase down those adepts. Blink finishing up. Yeah, really, honestly, this was not bad at all from Axpax. It feels like he defended that perfectly well. Coming across the map with his prism, with his stalkers. He has four gates at home, so this is going to be some pretty heavy production. Clem? Oh, no! Oh, he didn't see that at all. <laughs> that would have been a, an insane catch, though. All right, blink forward, knocking down that bunker before it has a chance to finish. The depot not able to finish either. This is looking... Pretty bad for Clem right at this second. He's he's bleeding out quite a bit. Now, don't forget, we have a Raven across the map and he is dropping some turrets. So during this micro, we do have some counter damage being dealt, right? Looks like he's going to get about four probes. That's like what you get with an auto turret. So he's going to be happy with that. Ooh, a nice blink forward there to snipe the tank. We'll end up losing one or two stalkers that, but that is it. A lot of damage being dealt here to Clem. Clem in a bit of trouble. Look at this, blinks for GG, and Max Pax gonna take it down. Three to zero here in the finals, and he won't be at IM Katowice.